Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3D.com. In this episode, we're going to look at building the actual mechanism for the laser cutter. As you recall, in a previous episode, we built the 2 watt laser diode cutter. And in this episode, what we're going to do is look at what kind of platform that we're going to put it on. After searching the internet, I wanted something that was simple, portable, um, kind of self-contained, if you will. And I came across this Maker Rail-based unit, uh, which really looked like it fit the purpose. Very straightforward, comes very well documented, 3D parts, etc. So this is what we set off to do. So I kind of wanted just to review it a little bit. So uh, take, take a look at its structure. Um, this build is 500 by 1,000. Uh, basically, my build, I just kept it 500 by 500. I did not need to go that doubling of depth. So so basically, 500 by 500 will give me about an 18 by 18 inch working area, which is, which is plenty big enough. Um, so I wanted to go through and, and show you a couple different pieces and because and, why I think this is a worthwhile build. So here we have uh, all the printed parts on the screen that you need to 3D print. The parts come out pretty easy. The, the uh, X gantry, you may think about this right, yes, the X gantry here, it's labeled M4. Uh, I actually reworked this somewhat to mount a different laser, but the other pieces I kept all the same and just printed those. And uh, again, it's very well documented as you can see here. So you can kind of go through both from the conceptual perspective of how it goes together. Uh, and, and again, you know, notice it's got uh, 40 by 20s and then 20 by 20s. Uh, it does have end stops, really well thought out. Uh, uses maker wheels. It has two Y motors for the uh, the Y gantry, one for the X gantry. There's no Z gantry, obviously. Uh, however, I think I am going to add. The more and more I think about it, going to add a Z gantry, but that'll be a, a different uh, project. I'm going to first build this but again you can really see conceptually how easy it just goes together rather simple build so again here you can kind of see is the um, builders building it laying it out some of the 3d printed parts again goes together very nice uses the maker wheels as you can see here so again very easy build I think it's the NEMA 17 motors uh, which I got from open build also very nice motors the end clamps for the belts how the kind of the belts go through and mount and how it just sort of all goes together um, again very nice design very compact design so I wanted to share this kind of uh, because I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on the build itself uh, I've been actually working on this for a while now on, on spare time and things like that that I have. Um, I think as you've seen in some of my other videos, I've uh, you know been working on prototyping the laser on the uh, Probotic Fireball V90. I, I think actually what I've decided I'm going to do is actually order uh, a 3.5 watt laser uh, for this instead of using the 2 on it. I just keep the two around for another project, but I think 3.5 is, is will be a good value for what I want to achieve. And, and again, you can see the end stops here and just again how it just goes together. Uh, very well thought out. I'm going to make some mods to this. Um, also, the electronics here, you can see that they're using their own electronics with an Arduino Mini and ramps uh, here. Uh, I've chosen to use the Arduino Uno with a ramps 1.4 board and drivers just because it's easier and it comes pre-assembled and I don't have to go through all this and I just plug in the motor so that's what I'll be using and also a power supply a uh, 12 volt power supply I got off Amazon because again there's there's not a lot of torque in this unit and you can kind of see the setup here um, and also, as I think I mentioned before in another video, I want to be able to take this outside. Uh, so if I'm cutting acrylic or, or something with fumes, I can take it out in the garage, etc., out of my workshop in the basement, put it out there, and so I don't have the fumes issue. I am going to build a little bit of a fume extractor uh, for this, for paper and stuff, because as I'm finding out, lasers create a lot of fumes. Uh, but again, you can see some more of the electronics and power supply and the laser and again for the laser I'm using um, you can see the laser here that they've selected uh, mine's going to be a little bit different uh, you'll see in the upcoming videos of, of how that's going to work 
Uh, it's going to be the same design as the laser you've seen in my prior videos on the Probotic Fireball V90. Uh, same format with a fan. And, and again, I'm going to build a fume extractor to pull the fumes, uh, you know, uh, away from the laser. Uh, so again, it's got kind of a cleaner cutting power. So um, that's some of the big changes. So again, I won't be using a mounting mechanism like this. So I've already changed it and I have it up on... Um, Tinkercad already uh, and, and have printed it out but uh, again just kind of wanted to show and, and here you can see again if you need to do some big formatting it is really just limited by the length of the maker rail you want to use and, and again because the laser is really not pushing any force um, you know you don't need a lot to drive the laser around so again I thought this was was a very good build and here you see the laser driver I, I'm using a pre-built laser driver I got out of China for like 12 bucks um, which has pulse width modulation as well as uh, on off control and uh, other features so it just simply wasn't worth the time to build my own laser driver um, and just some more of the electronics together and you can see it uh, cutting so um, you know, so far I've been really happy with my 2 watt laser and what I can cut. Uh, I think the real limiting factor, though, and I'll probably do an episode on it, is the lenses. I got the three element lenses. <clears throat> I would probably really recommend the G2, the two element lenses. They are they are a lot more expensive. Uh, however, I think uh, for the yield it produces, it's worth probably the 20 or 30 extra bucks, which the lenses cost versus the uh, three element lenses. Because one of the things that I am seeing is, is what's referred to in the optical world as aberrations, uh, which isn't allowing me to really get all the power from the laser to the target area effectively. Uh, so I, I think I'm probably losing about, you know, maybe 20% of the laser's efficiency to these, what, what are referred to as spherical ab aberrations in the actual lens elements themselves. But eh, that's going a little bit deep for for that right now. Just, just know that G2 lenses are better than the three element uh, lenses, or at least that's what I've been finding. And again, you can kind of see the uh, fume ducting that does, you know, one of the things lasers do make a lot of fumes. And if you've got plastic, it is horrible. So, um, again, that's why I want to make mine portable. I'm going to mount all the electronics to it, etc. Probably a carrying handle so I can take it outside in the garage if I'm going to cut plastics. So it's well ventilated because even if you have a vent system like this uh, in your workshop and you cut plastic, it's uh, pretty heavy duty. So anyways, um, hopefully this gives you an idea of the design we're going to be going for with the laser build project. And there'll be some more videos coming out after this showing the actual building of the frame, etc. As we go through the, um, the different pieces, and you can kind of see here some of the stuff that, uh, you know, the builder of this one etched. But this is going to be our model. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If this helped you out, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. There'll be a lot more coming.